Hey guys, it's November 18th, 2023, and in this video, we are going to be going through the stocks that were at their annual low price and started to move up um, these last few weeks, and particularly last week, which was November. 13th through 17th of 2023. Um, I recently dropped a video in the channel, which is, what is a call option? And when I dropped that video in the channel, I said that um, for the forthcoming um well, just say from here forward in this winnings, this week's winning stocks, I'll also be mentioning some options opportunities. You should watch that video so that you know what you're expecting in terms of options. Options can bring you some fantastic results. If you buy a stock, you may make one, two, three percent in a day on average. You're, the returns are smaller, one, two, three percent, as well as the losses. But when it comes to an option, you can make around 20 percent, 30 percent in one day in terms of your returns if if it goes well if it goes wrong you can lose around 20 or 30 percent so with options you can't afford to mess around because you put up maybe 700 800 dollars for an option and if you're not watching it and moving out if you're losing money you can lose the entire thing in about a week's time. But however, when going through this list, as you guys already know, if you've um, seen this before, if you've seen my this week's winning stocks before, I break them up into three categories or three tiers, which is three stars. That is the most fundamentally sound. Then there's two stars, which is a little below that. And then there's one star, which is the least fundamentally sound among that group, but still fundamentally sound. Okay. So having said that, we're going to start to go through these stocks. And, you know, I like to start with the S&P 500 the Dow and the NASDAQ so we can get a feel for how the entire market is doing. And we see that with the S&P 500, it moved up this week. As a matter of fact, we see three green candles. It moved up the entire three weeks. The last three weeks, the S&P 500 has moved up. And we're looking at the Dow now. And the Dow as well, it moved up a little last week. It moved up a good bit this week, but it's moved up the last three weeks. And as far as the NASDAQ, same thing. It moved up the last three weeks. Now we're getting to our companies. And the first one we're looking at is Waters Corporation. You're probably noticing that I've added something. And what I've added is, not only can you see the price of the stock, which is $261.88 as of close of market on Friday, but if you look towards the top and the right, you would be able to see the estimate that the Yahoo analysts feel that this stock will move up to in the next 12 months. 
It doesn't necessarily mean their estimate is right. It doesn't mean it's wrong. It's just an estimate. I use PE ratios, so I have my own estimates. Theirs tend to be more conservative. But they have this stock moving up to 267.06 in the next 12 months, and it is a one star. Then we have Dollar General. Dollar General is a little more fundamentally sound. It's a two star. And we have Dollar General currently at 121.11. And Yahoo analysts have it moving up to $134.29 in the next 12 months. And if we, we when we look at these, let's go back and look at we see with Waters Corporation, it's moving in a sort of sideways motion. And when we come to Dollar General, the same thing, it's moving sort of sideways. So we want to be looking into the next week or into Monday, which would be a couple of days from now, to see if this stock is moving up further or if it's still moving in a sideways motion. Hibbit Incorporated. They sell sporting goods stuff. And they are a one star. Currently at $53.48. Yahoo analysts have them moving up to $58. And... They're in a sideways motion as well, but they moved a little bit above it this past week. We want to see if they move higher come Monday or if they're still moving in that same sideways motion. Target. Target was moving in a sideways motion for one, two, three, four, five, six weeks. But this past week, it really jumped out of it, moved up significantly, and we want to see what they do moving into this next week. There are one star currently at $129.89. And Yahoo analysts have them moving up to 148.67. Valmont. Valmont Industries. They were in positive territory the last three weeks. Um. We see a, a decent move up three weeks ago. Last week, or the prior week, was almost a doji, and then last week was a decent move up. We want to see what they do going into this week. Now, they're currently at $213.32 a share, and Yahoo analysts have them moving up to $275.67 a share. So that gives them some room for movement. We'll see what happens with them. We want to look at what they're doing going into Monday. Sensient Technologies. And we said before that Sensient Technologies is sort of a Unique company. They make colors and scents. So, in any event, Sensian Technologies is our highest tier. It's a three star. They're currently at $60.74 a share. And Yahoo analysts have them moving up to $75.50 a share in the next 12 months. 
Keysight. And with Keysight, this is one of the stocks that I am including things from the options on. Keysight Technologies is a hundred and thirty it's a three star. It's currently a hundred and thirty three dollars and eighteen cents a share. And Yahoo analysts have them moving up to one sixty four fifty seven. Now, if you were to buy a call option for Keysight key with a $135 price, um, strike price and a February 16th expiration, that's three or four months, and the, the ask price for that, that option would cost you $760. But as I mentioned in the video in the channel talking about what is a call option, you make your money from options in one of two ways. One way is that you could buy 100 shares of the stock at a cheaper price. For example, with this option, you'd be able to buy 100 shares at $135, even if the stock moved up to, let's say, 150 So everybody else would be paying $15,000 for 100 shares. You'd be paying 13500 But what if you don't have the money to buy 100 shares? Well, in that case... As the stock's price gets more expensive, as the stock moves up from, let's say, 133 to 140 or 145, the options contract gets more expensive too. It will no longer be $760. Maybe it'll, it'll be a thousand, maybe it'll be 1100, maybe it'll be 1200. And you can sell it at that point and make a profit you can you know if it moves up decently enough you may make around 50 percent maybe even up to a hundred percent in a few weeks time or even a month or whatever Pootsie roll Pootsie roll as we see it's a one star Yahoo actually didn't have an analyst uh, analyst estimate on this, but it's currently at thirty two ninety six a share, and it moved up decently this past week. We want to see what it does going into the next week. Kraft Heinz, Kraft Heinz, they. For some of you, they may make your ketchup. They make other things as well. Kraft Heinz, it sort of moved in a sideways motion, but a couple of weeks ago, it was positive. Last week, it moved back, or the prior week, it moved back a little. And this last week, it moved back up. We want to see what it does going forward. Kraft Times is currently at $33.66 a share. Yahoo analysts believe it will move up to $37.30. Now, Kraft Heinz is about to give a dividend. And the ex-dividend date is November 30th. That means to be eligible for that dividend, you have to own the stock by at least November 29th, and the dividend will be 40 cents a share. Advanced 6, they are a two-star. They're currently at $27 a share. They have been moving down for a while, but they had a positive week last week. We want to see where they move to. 
and Yahoo analysts believe they can move up to $42. Norfolk Southern Corporation Railroad. They are a two star. And they have been in positive territory the last three weeks. In last week and two weeks before that, they moved up pretty decently. They're currently at $211.04 a share. And Yahoo analysts um, estimate that they can move up to $224.65 a share. Hershey Company, the candy company. Hershey Company is a three star. They are currently at $196 a share. And Yahoo analysts believe they can move up to 219.19. And looking at the chart, you see Hershey Company has moved up not much, but they've moved up the last three weeks. Um, I was actually holding Hershey Company up until this last week, but they weren't moving fast enough for me, but I, so I let them go. But they have been moving up the last three weeks. Agilent Technologies. They are a three-star. They're currently at $113.15. And Yahoo analysts believe they can move up to $135.13 in these next 12 months. Now, for the last three weeks, the first of those three weeks had moved up decently. The second one was almost a doji. They moved it down a little, but it was almost a doji. And then this last week, they continue to move up. We want to see what they do going into Monday. Um, I've actually dropped a video in the channel, How to Use This Week's Winning Stocks, and it tells you how to use these things, these charts that I'm showing you guys with what's gone on during the last week. You want to be able to pull up your own candlestick charts and be able to look at it on Monday or Tuesday to see if it's continuing to move up or it's starting to move down. If it's continuing to move up, that may be an opportunity for you to jump in. But if it's moving down, you want to leave it alone. So I would suggest that you look at um, how to use this week's winning stocks. And if you're thinking about the options, I would suggest that you look at the um, videos I dropped in the channel on what is a um, call option and what is a put option to but particularly what is a call option so in any event for an option on Agilent Technologies with on Schwab because these options the prices may vary depending on your broker but uh, and also the prices may vary because let's say Monday or Tuesday, the stock price may move up a little, which means the option price may move up a little. But as of now, I'm checking it on the weekend. A, the, with a 110 strike price for Agilent Technologies and a February 16th expiration, the option would cost $950.
Prosperity Bank shares. You see, they've been moving up for about a month. The first two weeks, they moved up. Then they moved down. And this last week, they moved up pretty decently, or I would almost say significantly. They are a two-star. They're currently $59.87 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate that they could move up to 63.23 in the next 12 months. Like I said, that's not a hard and fast rule. That's just an estimate that the Yahoo analysts are giving. Paycom software. Paycom. Wow, Paycom dropped. They're a fundamentally sound company. You see, we have them rated, or I have them rated at three stars. But because of some news that came out in their earnings report, they dramatically dropped one day. It was about a Wednesday a couple of weeks ago. They dramatically dropped, and you see this long red candle. They dropped around $90 in one day. That would be very hurtful for the people who own the stock. But that could present an opportunity for people like us. Like I said, they're a fundamentally sound company. They're actually giving a dividend. And the latest data on the stock and be eligible for the dividend is November 23rd. November 24th is their ex-dividend date. So you have to own it by November 23rd. And the dividend is $0.37 cents a share. In any event, they're at $177.50. Yahoo analysts suspect they can move up to $203.73 in the next 12 months. And as far as an option, an option with a strike price of $175 and an expiration date of February 16th would cost $1,680. $1, it's a pricey stock, so the expiration is going to be pricey as well. Or I should say the ask price. For the option, it's going to be pricey as well. Cullen Frost Bank. Cullen Frost Bank as well has been moving up the last month. They moved up two weeks, down one week, and they moved up last week. They are currently at they're a one star. They're at $99.21 a share. And Yahoo analysts estimate that they can move up to $112.79. Camden National Corporation. Not an expensive stock. But they've moved up a, a bit in this last month. They moved up the first week. Second week, they moved up significantly. Third week was sort of a doji. They was sort of flat. But last week, they moved up as well. They're currently at $34.73. And like I said, the Yahoo analysts may estimate something, but it's not an exact science. Well, Yahoo analysts estimated that this stock would not go any higher than $32.33 a share. 
it's already at $34.73 a share. Genuine Parts Company, if I remember correctly, they sell auto parts. They are a two-star, and they're currently at $137.41 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate that they can move up to $154.09 a share. Now, as far as the option, for an option with a strike price of $135 and an expiration date of February 16th of 2024, the ask price for that option would be $730. UPS, United Parcel Service, they're a two-star, currently at $147.98 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate that they can move up to $163.67. As far as the option, an option with a strike on Charles Schwab, remember, an option with a strike price of $145 and an expiration of February 16th can cost $1,005. Kellanova is one of the spin-offs of Kellogg. Kellogg used to make the cornflakes as well as other things, snack foods, cereals, many things you would see in the cereal aisle when you went to the supermarket, a few health foods. Well, Kellogg, Kellogg, Kellogg actually spun off into three companies, one of them being Kellanova. Kellanova is the one that's, how should I say, that was the most profitable. The other two, the cereal division was losing earnings and so forth. The health food division wasn't doing that well, so they broke it up into three separate country companies. They will probably keep Kellanova, and I'm just guessing this, but I wouldn't be surprised if they sell the other two divisions, which they broke into other companies. Well, in any event, when I checked the analysis for Kellogg, I marked Kellogg as a two-star, which would make Kellanova. It's a new company, but it would be a two-star or above. They are currently $52.80 a share. Yahoo analysts have them moving up to $56.75 a share in the next 12 months, they will be giving a dividend. Um, they go ex-dividend November 30th, so you'd have to own the shares by at least November 29th. And their dividend will be 56 cents a share. Quest Diagnostics Quest Diagnostics is another one that has been in the green for about a month or longer, about five weeks we see here. 
the week prior to last week, they were in negative territory, but they moved back into positive territory this week. We want to see what they do coming into the next week. They're currently at $134.89, and Yahoo analysts have them moving up to $142.07 there at Two Star. McCormick is a no star, but I included them in the analysis probably for sentimental reasons. McCormick is who for many of us makes out black pepper. Well, McCormick is at $66.36 a share. They've moved up for the last month. And Yahoo analysts have them moving up to $76.54 a share. LKQ Corporation. They've been positive for the last three weeks, but really haven't moved up much. We want to see what they do coming into this next week. They're a one star. Currently at $45.53 a share. Yahoo analysts have that moving up to $62.75 a share. Citigroup. And if you're familiar with Citibank, you're familiar with Citigroup. They're a one star. In the last three weeks, they moved up the first one. They were in negative territory, the second one, but not by much. And they moved up to third, which was just this last week. They're currently at $45.36 a share. And Yahoo analysts have them moving up to $52.25 a share. Enterprise Financial Services Corporation. They are a two star. Yeah, they are currently at $39.29 a share. And Yahoo analysts have them moving up to $43 a share. Um, they are going to be giving a dividend. You have to own them before December 14th to be eligible for that. And the dividend will be 25 cents a share. Medtronic PLC. You see that they were moving in a sideways pattern. And then they started to move up this last week. We want to see what they do going into this next week. They're currently at $74.76 a share. They're a three-star. And Yahoo analysts having, have them moving up to $90.44 a share. Middle B Corporation. They're a three star again. Currently at one twenty four seventy eight, one hundred and twenty four dollars and seventy eight cents a share. Yahoo analysts have them moving up to one hundred and fifty three dollars and seventy five cents a share. If you were to buy an option on Schwab with a strike price of $125 and an expiration of March 15th, it would cost you around $950. Thermo Fisher Scientific 
They are a three star. And they're currently at $466.42 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate them going up to $525.14 a share in the next 12 months. They will be giving a dividend, and if you own them before December 14th, you will be eligible for that dividend. It's a $0.35 cents dividend. PNC Financial. They are a one-star. They've moved up the last three weeks, but two weeks ago they moved up last, well, prior to the last week. They moved down a little, and this last week they moved up again. PNC Financial is a one-star, currently at $130.26 a share. Yahoo analysts have them moving up to $135.96 a share in the next 12 months. Ulta Beauty. They are a three-star. They moved up slightly the prior three weeks, but this week they moved up decent, not significant, but decent. They're currently at $409.27 a share, and Yahoo analysts have them moving up to $516.20 a share. It's a decent move up. AMN Healthcare. They're a two-star. They've been moving down for a while. But finally this last week, we see a green candle. They moved up decent. We want to see what they do coming into this next week. They're currently at $66.64 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate that they could move up to $81 a share in the next 12 months. Oxford Industries, same thing. They are a two star. They're currently at $94.53 a share. They've been moving down for a while, but they had a pretty decent to significant move up this last week. We want to see what they do going into the next week. Goldman Sachs. The last three weeks, the first of the last three weeks, was a significant move. The week after that, they moved back slightly. And then last week was an okay move up. They're currently at $339.19 a share. And Yahoo analysts are estimating that they can move up to $379.31 a share. If you own them before November 29th, you will be eligible for a dividend of $2.75 that they're about to give. $2.75 a share. Norman Products, they're a two-star. They as well have been moving down, but we see one green candle. We want to see what they do coming into this next week. They're currently at $71.27 a share, but a Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to 82 U-Haul Holding Company. I'm assuming everybody is 
familiar with the U-Haul trucks, man. We do um, storage space as well, but maybe they're not in every state. Everyone's not familiar with them, but in any event, they're currently a two-star. They're at $55.46 a share. And Yahoo analysts estimate that they can move up to $64.10 a share in the next 12 months. And we see that they've pretty much been in positive territory for the last three weeks. Texas Instruments. They're a three-star. They've moved up in the last three weeks as well. First week moved up. Second week moved down a little. Third week moved up, which was just this last week. They're currently at $154.62 a share. And they can move up to $163.00. And five cents in these next 12 months, according to Yahoo analysts. Diodes Incorporated, they're a three star. They're currently at $68.77 a share. Yahoo analysts believe they can move up to $71.20. This last week, we finally saw a green candle candle of decent size. We want to see what they do going into this next week. Henry Shine, they're a two star. They're currently at sixty-eight dollars and seventy-five cents a share, and according to Yahoo analysts, they can move up to. $73.55. These last two weeks, they moved up pretty decently. And we want to see what they do coming into this next week. Okay, guys, so that's it for this week's um, winning stocks for the stocks that moved up last week. And we want to see if they continue to move up going into this next week. And if that presents an opportunity. And I'll speak to you guys in the next video.